IW Harper has added a Cabernet cask finished bourbon to the lineup. IW Harper bourbon is one of the many labels owned by Spirits conglomerate giant, whatever you want to call them, Diageo. Uh, two IW Harper expressions already exist under the label. Their Kentucky Straight Bourbon Whiskey and their 15-year-old Kentucky Straight Bourbon, which comes in that beautiful decanter bottle. Now they've added a new bottle to the lineup. It's their Cabernet Cask Finish Reserve. Let's check it out. It's What's on the Shelf Wednesday on The Mash and Drum. Welcome to The Mash and Drum. I am Jason C. and this is What's on the Shelf Wednesday, the series where I bring you quick reviews of whiskeys you can actually find on the shelf, including bourbons, rye, scotches, Irish whiskeys, and more. Today we are tasting the newest addition to the IW Hopper lineup, joining their straight bourbon and 15-year bourbon in the lineup. This is their new Cabernet Cask Finished Bourbon. Take a closer look. Introduced in the 1870s, I.W. Harper was created by I.W. Bernheim and produced at Bernheim Brothers Distillery. Through the years, the label inspired a clothing line and was popular on international cruise lines as well. In the 1990s, when the popularity of whiskey declined, I.W. Harper ceased distribution in the U.S., focusing on Asia and Japan in particular, where it became wildly popular. In 2015, it was resurrected and relaunched by Diageo. All right, so the new I.W. Harper Cabernet Cask Reserve Bourbon, according to those behind it, is aged for four years in new charred American oak barrels, then finished in California Cabernet Sauvignon casks, and bottled at Stitzel Weller Distillery. The bourbon is bottled at 90 proof and retails for about 50 bucks. All right, let's give it a go. Here we go. Extremely sweet on the nose. You could kind of smell the youthful spirit in here a little bit. Nice vanilla, a little bit of a toffee note. A little bit of a berry note as well. You get kind of, um, I don't want to say raisin. I'm not really getting anything that dark. I think it's more, more like a light strawberry type of note I'm getting. Yeah, I'm really picking up that dusty corn note in here a lot, so. But yeah, if this has a Cabernet influence, I might be getting it slightly on the nose. I'm hoping I get it more on the palate. Let's give it a try. Yeah. Ooh, a little bit spicier than I thought it would be. I.W. Harper, from what I remember, I think they have about maybe, I want to say 17 or 18% rye in their mash bill that they use. They also have a higher corn mash bill I think they use as well. I'm not sure which one was used for this one. I, I would guess maybe the higher rye. There's some good spice to this one. Man, second sip really just kind of flattened out. That's a technical term, by the way. Light vanilla, a little bit of a toffee note. Where I get the Cabernet influence is like right mid palate before the finish hits, you get a really, this little burst of that strawberry note I was getting. It's not really like grapey or I'm not getting a heavy influence. I mean, it's there, but I mean, if you're gonna give me a Cabernet finish, I mean, I wanna taste the Cabernet. I mean, not to the detriment of the bourbon, but I figure with such a young bourbon. Now, sometimes you, you find that some distillers to hide some of the youthful notes in a whiskey, you know, will we'll finish it in something, you know, for a long period of time to kind of cover up some of those rough edges. Um, and you taste more of the spirit that it was finished in rather than the actual natural spirit. This, I feel like it's more spirit forward. You're getting, I feel like I'm getting more of the youthful bourbon notes rather than the Cabernet finish. It's good, it has a little bit more bite to it than I thought for a 90 proofer, a little bit of spice there. There is a nice little strawberry, strawberry grape, you know, like grape bubble gum type thing going on in the mid palate, a little bit more. Maybe it'll get more of that as it opens up a little bit. But I just feel like I want a little bit more of it. Last sip here. 
I mean, it's, it's a decent bourbon. I mean, it, it's it's okay. Uh, I mean, that's the best I can. That's the best review, the most honest review I can give. It's okay. It's, you know, the the problem with this bourbon is that it's only 90 proof. But again, I, I think the, the the little bit of a spicy finish is probably the most interesting thing about it, along with that nice little bit of bright like strawberry grape note that I'm getting kind of mid palate. But it's 50 bucks and four years old. Unfortunately for this bottle, it's a lot of competition with, with finished bourbons out there these days. I mean, you have Woodenville Port Cask Finish, Angel's Envy, Isaac Bowman Port Finish, Legion Whiskey, which is a sherry wine finished blend. Bell Mead has a great sherry finished bourbon. Davies County from Lux Row has a sherry finished bottle that 96 proof, and I think is a little bit older than this. Not to mention the higher end bourbons from Fourgate and also from Bardstown Bourbon Company that come out. Uh, and you know, just a, I mean, and I'm sure I'm missing a bunch and you guys are probably thinking in your head right now, you probably, oh, you probably forgot a couple and you could rattle them off in your head about the amount of finished bourbons that are hitting the market uh, for around this price point. My, my argument with this bourbon right here is that for $50, if you're gonna give me a four year bourbon, a four year bourbon, at least give me more Cabernet finish in here. Like I wanna see the color of the Cabernet in this. And this just looks like a regular, just straight up four year bourbon. I don't really feel like there's a lot of Cabernet influence or color going on in the finish. Not getting a lot of it. I mean, if you're asking folks to pay 50 bucks for a finished bourbon, for a four year bourbon, I want more Cabernet finish in this. At least give me give me some more balance in it rather than just, I'm just tasting more youthful bourbon notes rather than the Cabernet in this. I mean, pretty bottle. I do like the Art Deco theme that they've stayed with historically, but for 50 bucks, I just feel like there's, there's better finished whiskeys or other more interesting finished whiskeys that are available on the shelf in this IW Harper. All right, guys, hope you enjoyed this review on the Mass and Drum for What's on the Shelf Wednesday as we reviewed the new IW Harper Cabernet Cask Reserve Bourbon. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, hit that subscribe button below. If you haven't yet, find me on Instagram, find me on Twitter. Let me know down in the comments if you've had this one, if you've seen it yet, um, what you think of it. And as I always say, it's not about the whiskey, it's the people you share it with. Cheers. See you next time right here on the Mass and Drum. Take care, everybody.